outside personality. He's the world's friendliest puppy dog type man and is uh, doubly attractive for being this type and is known to his friends as a most friendly person, a most outgoing chap. However, the other side of uh, Al's personality is the racing driver facet. Mostly of uh, mechanical illustration. 
often I do uh, some automobile illustration. I do a lot of photograph, uh, photographic retouching. Um, I may start out the day by going to see a client who has a problem, a job that he wants done. He usually wants it in a hurry, so I have to rush back to the office and start on it. If I'm trying to get away a weekend to go racing, I may stay working until 12 midnight or 1 o'clock in the morning or even later. One thing about my job is, and one of the reasons I enjoy it so much, is that while I'm actually working on a job, I devote quite a lot of time to thinking about racing. I, if I have anything specific, I make notes as the day goes along. I may be thinking about what needs to be done with the car. I may even think of some new trick I may try and practice to try to gain a little time. I usually make notes of all these things, and uh, during the evenings, if, if I go down to the garage, I check all these things off on the car, make sure they're done. This sort of gives me uh, a nice, clear mind on race day, because I, I feel certain that the car is in great condition. conservative as to be uh, positively unbelievable. We talk of trivialities more than anything. I don't think anything serious has ever been discussed on race morning. And I suppose this in itself is um, just a shade ominous. Uh, Al is super polite, super thoughtful, and this is out of character for him. And it is so super duper that it's uh, quite strange and until we hit the racetrack and the problems begin to take his mind off the actual getting on the track the competition uh, uh, this sort of funny little period endures conversation is usually fairly limited most people are trying to think of what they're going to do or what they may be left undone and must do as soon as they get to the track. Unloading the cars is sort of an anticlimax to it. There's lots of people shouting hello and how's your car running and general questions about the track and about how you think you'll do. Uh, once the cars are unloaded and the trailers are all taken away, then the serious business starts. And once we get to the racetrack and the inevitable problems present themselves, uh, resetting the tappets and warming the car up and tightening the head down again, um, uh, not braking and not being able to replace it immediately. The mechanics may have gone over everything, but there's, there's always the feeling that maybe something has been left undone. And once the flag drops, you then are entirely alone in the car, and anything that may have not been done may be the small thing that may let you down. So what sort of a problem are you having with them? Uh, only my front brakes are coming on. I need a bracket brake, they're not coming on far enough. Oh, I, oh, I see. Well, this this T-bar here is is for adjusting the relationship between the front and back brakes. Do you, do you have a... This one's traveling down too far. That's right, yeah. Have you got a 716 for it, sir? Thank you. Good. In racing, there are a lot of petty jealousies. There are even enemies. By and large, I feel that there is probably 
greater friendship than no, 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 no. any other sport could produce. There are quite a few drivers that spend evenings working on other people's cars, trying to help them along, even though they may, on race day, be competition. Position. After this is all over, I, I 
usually be left standing around for a few moments um, while all the officials get together and discuss this and that. I think all drivers feel the same. They would, they would much rather they took their cars out on the grid. There was maybe a quick start, and all the pre-race tensions would then disappear. Drivers meetings are an interesting time for me. Uh, I get a chance to see drivers that I probably haven't seen all weekend. We're all standing around listening to instructions that we've heard time and time and time again. be very comforting around a racetrack. Uh, women seem to realize what men need. They may produce a, a dry cloth at the right moment and a piece of chalk when no one can find one. It's amazing how quickly they can find this object or the person that has it available. I think if my wife didn't like racing, I may had to give it up. Uh, a woman either likes racing or dislikes it intensely. A nervous woman at a racetrack uh, can bring on a situation around a whole crew that will make them lose their desire to win. suit quick give me my driving suit and the panic with the driving suit and putting the shoes on and the shoes off and the hat and wear my gloves and don't forget my earplugs about 
his wants in as much as plugs or water. And uh, I would say, with very, very few exceptions, has the crew let him down. 